Well, if there's one thing my channel is becoming increasingly known for, it's the debate surrounding the story and tonality of the Sly Cooper franchise. My team and I have written a treatment for a new Sly Cooper game concept, which is a little edgier than Sly 3 and Thieves in Time. It takes itself a little more serious, and I've expressed in numerous videos how I feel that Sly Cooper is intended to be somewhat edgy. Not grim, not dark, but simply maintain its serious tone and crime noir aesthetic. It's a story about a thief who lost his parents and grew up to avenge them, as well as defend his family legacy and statements like that is usually what starts the debate, where subscribers and viewers start to chime in with a claim that Sly Cooper is intended to be silly, with comments like, it's a game about a talking raccoon, why does it have to have depth? And my position on this for the final time is yes, the character is a raccoon, but he has a soul and he has a story. I know that in and of itself sounds corny, but you know what I mean, I can think of many cartoons about talking animals where a character is killed and it really hits home. In certain instances, we're talking about famous scenes that were real tearjerkers. Antimorphic animals are not. These characters are portrayed and written with the same thoughts, feelings, and motivations of human characters so the audience can connect with them. So this whole, uh, they're just talking animals, is the dumbest fucking argument you could bring to the table. Today we're going to focus on Sly 1's writing and tonality in particular. Personally, off the top of my head, I can't recall one plain silly or goofy bit of dialogue from Sly 1 that's on par with any of the dialogue you would find in maybe Sly 3 or especially Thieves in time. I think it took itself more serious than nearly the entire series. Playing it as a kid had introduced me to my new favorite character. He had an origin story similar to a comic book hero. He had a motivation similar to Robin Hood. He was a badass thief who stalked the nighttime scenery that reminded me of why I love crime drama and even old school horror films with its chilling atmosphere. Am I insane for having this affection for the game for these reasons? Am I overanalyzing a thoughtless game and a thoughtless story about nothing more than a talk raccoon. Am I just imagining that the first game took itself serious and that when we get around to the silliness of Thieves in Time, it's factually incorrect to say Sly Cooper was always that doofy? Well, you know what? I'm done speaking for myself. Let's take this to a focus group. I've rounded up a few people who have never heard of Sly Cooper. I've printed out Sly's intro monologue from the first game, and based off the script alone, we're going to see what these folks imagine the tonality of the story to be like. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Coverly the Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. Based on that, do you think it would be a drama or a comedy? That's a drama. Definitely a drama. Like a drama, yeah. I would think drama. You think it was kind of sad? Yeah. He said he was broken alone and at an orphanage, you know. Drama and comedy because, like, it depends on how the character, like, you know, speaks okay. and how they act it out. Sounds like an action. Sounds like suspense. I have drama. It, it comes to me as more serious, more, more drama-ish as opposed to comedic. Are you, are you going for comedic? It's pretty serious. I don't see anything. Okay. really lighthearted about it. So do you think it would be like silly and goofy? Nah, that's a drama. He'd be talking about his life and shit. Uh, and I think he's serious because he's, he's trying to defend his family's honor. I mean, do you think the character seems silly? No. I'd say definitely dramatic. Um, there's no like real, I guess like comedic language in it. He had something stolen from him and it seemed like it was very traumatic. So I, I, I don't think that'd be very funny. Would you say this character is serious about his business? Like he's a serious Yeah, serious? yeah, I would say that, yeah. Would you think he'd be silly or goofy or corny? No. It sounded serious. It's how he wanted to avenge his father, so that sounds pretty, like, serious to him. Does it sound like the character would be serious or goofy? Serious. So based on what you read, would it make sense if this was a silly, corny, like, goofy character? No. Nah. I think he's... It's kind of, I'm, I'm getting a serious vibe. I don't, I'm, I'm not getting a goofball type vibe from this. Looks like you're just gonna have to wait to play the game to find out all the amazing twists and turns. 